one of the other essentials that you talk about is nerve supply. Um, talk about that, how that's connected to, to cancer and, and strengthening that system. Uh, and this will make a lot of sense. Uh, so I had a, a patient came in with lung cancer and I asked him, I said, what do, you, what do you think caused your lung cancer? And he said, I smoked for years. He said, I eat horrible. He said, you know, I, I, I drank for years. Uh, I didn't exercise. And I said, well, all those four, those four may contribute to cancer, but why is it only in your left lung? Think about that. So he was smoking. Was he only smoking in his left lung? He only had cancer in his left lung. He was eating bad. Why, well, then why didn't you get cancer in your stomach or somewhere else? He wasn't, he wasn't exercising. I mean, so why did it only go to one lung? So, when, when, so you were only bringing oxygen into the right lung and your left lung wasn't getting it? So you have to look at nerve supply. So the same thing with the breast. A woman comes in with a hormone-positive breast cancer. She has an increase of estrogen. Well, how come it's only in your left breast? Right? Mm -hmm. So why is it in your right breast? You have the same hormones running through all of your blood and all of your body, right? The same, I run her test. It doesn't say she has more estrogen in her left breast. She has estrogen everywhere. Because each side of the body, each side has its own nerve supply. So the brain has to send all of its neurological responses for, for my body to run, heal, function, for my heart to beat, for, me, for to fight cancer, my immune system to work. My brain has to recognize everything. My brain sends messages down the spinal cord through the nerves into my organs. So my, my, my right breast has a different nerve supply than my left breast. So if I cut the nerves over here to my left breast, what happens to, you know, sorry, if I cut the nerves over here to my right breast, what happens to the left breast? Nothing. I didn't touch that nerve. So if there's pressure on these nerves, and think about it, an average, a normal woman, she's, she's carrying a baby all day long, she's leaning to this right side, she's holding a baby, she's feeding a baby, you know, she's, she's laying wrong, she's lifting wrong, she finally, everything shifts in her spine, her nervous system, the bones shift out of place, put pressure on the nerve. When these nerves have more interference to the right than the left, then the brain can't recognize this as much and we get cancers faster. So in order to truly get to all the causes, we need to look at everything that could possibly do that. That's why I always say and teach, you test, you don't guess. I wanna know everything and put a plan together.